Hello, for those who don't know me yet, my name is Eric. I hope you liked my last video on van life and hygiene. I will continue this subject later on. Now here's another video about van conversion. In this one, I will explain how to do screen window covers for your van or for car camping. I will explain three different techniques that I used to keep those bugs out. To realize those techniques, you need almost no skill, very few tools, and it is very quick to realize. The first method that I explain is a continuity of the video on managing temperature in a van. In that video, I explained different ways to keep heat or freshness in a van or a car depending of the outside temperature. With the Reflectix method explained, I insist on the importance of ventilating the air between the inside and the outside. I invite you to look at this video to understand the importance of this. In the present video, I will skip those explanations. With the method of managing temperature with Reflectix, in the bug season, screen covers will also be a necessity. To understand how to end up with that Reflectix gap and how to easily do those covers, just watch my video on how to easily do window covers. So, there are three videos to cover the whole aspect. Van life in cold and warm temperature, stealth insulated window covers, screen window covers, which is the present video. At the end of the video, I will put a link to my playlist about van conversion techniques. Mosquito screen. All three screen following techniques are all using the same mosquito screen. You can easily buy that mosquito screen replacement mesh at your local hardware store. They sell them in large pieces to replace patio door screen panels that your dog or your relative or friend's dog have passed through to go in or out of the house. I recommend black screen for the stealth and aesthetic aspect. In some countries where there are really really small bugs, it may be preferable to use a thinner mesh like the one used for tents. I would not use this one if not necessary for two reasons. First, less air will flow through a thinner mesh. Second, this product will be more expensive. Mini screens for Reflectix under window deflectors. Let's begin first with how to do the mini screens for Reflectix panels. It is very easy to do. When I park my van for the night, in order to get the precious ventilation explained in my previous video, I lower my windows to leave a gap under the window deflectors. To cover the gap with a mosquito screen, I simply cut a strip of screen large enough to cover the open gap, plus a few inches to overlap the window cover and to fix the screen to the window contour of the door. This must include some slack to follow the window contour so a stripe of about 4.5 inches should be okay. You can be generous on those inches because you can trim them as you please when everything will be installed. To shape the curve of the window correctly, I use the template made for my window covers. To install those screens to the door, I simply tape them with a good tape. Before doing so, be sure to wash the window frame surface with a soft soap. I simply use kitchen soap. I put the tape half on the window contour and half on the screen. And I use many pieces of tape 
rather than just one long. It is much easier that way. Also, having a body with you for a third end is a plus. Be sure to leave flexibility with the mesh as you tape it and leave extra mesh at both ends. The screen must obey when you will put the window cover over it. Give it some slack. When you install the window cover, the screen will be wedged between the window glass and the window cover. That's it, very easy, fast and cheap to do. Now, let's see the technique I used for the front window screen covers. Again, you will see that it is pretty easy and does not need that many tools or skills to do. Here again, I used the window template made for the window covers. I simply reproduced the full template of the window in Coroplast. After, I simply take out the middle to replace it with mesh and that will be the opening for fresh air. Personally, I kept 2 inches to keep a minimum of rigidity to the contour. To cut the Coroplast, I simply used scissors. After, I just needed to add the mesh to cover that hole. To fix the mesh to the coroplast, I used a glue gun. I generously apply a ribbon of glue to cover the screen to have a strong attachment. As you can see, I have cut the screen oversized to the coroplast panel. The oversized contour will be used to cover any gap that may exist between the window contour and the Coroplast panel. So, even if your template is not perfect, you will still keep those bugs out. As you can see, still easy to do. To use it, simply install the screen. Then lower the window. Velcro screen covers. Here's another technique that I used. I use it for the back window screen covers. This one is pretty interesting for an easy storage of the screens and it maximizes the window opening. This time, I used Velcro to put the screens in place. The Velcro should be pre-glued and of the best quality that you can find. This is a necessity because it can get warm in a van. Also, for the best results, it is important to follow the application instructions. There's a temperature range that must be respected to obtain the best solidity. If you install the Velcro when it's too warm, it will eventually peel off, I know. Also, use a Velcro to light attachment capacity. They measure this in pounds. Go low so it will be easier to remove. First step, I put the rough part of the Velcro on the window contour of the van. After, I simply trim the screen to cover the Velcro on the window contour. You can use the template of the window cover to pre-cut the screen but you must cut it a few inches larger since with that technique the screen will be larger than the window. After adjusting the screen to the window contour, I installed the other soft part of the Velcro to the contour of the screen. 
and I sewed a ribbon on the other side of the screen. This ribbon is more a strap than a ribbon. You can buy what I used by the feet at your local outdoors store. There are generally a few sizes available. I took a 3 quarter inch strap. Having something with some sturdiness will reduce the stress on the screen when you will install and remove it every day. It is pretty easy to do, and yes I sewed those straps myself. For the first time in my life, I put to practice what I learned in my own economics high school class. I borrowed my mom's old sewing machine and I listened to her instructions. Even if you never had used this, you will find this as easy as using a jigsaw. When you cut those straps, you have to melt the end with a lighter or a burning pan to avoid fraying ends. The best results is with the barbecue lighter. You just melt where the strap was cut. That's it. Those are the three current techniques I use in my van. Which one to use? My favorite one between the Coroplast and the Velcro is the Velcro. Easier to store, won't move when you open or close the window. No way a mosquito will pass through a Velcro. You can drive with it. Brief, no hassle if the Velcro is perfectly well applied. But you still need to be careful when you remove it. You remove it by pulling it following the window contour. Depending of the window contour, one method will be more suitable than the other. There is not always a place to install the Velcro without interfering with the rubber seal of the door. You do not want that because you will have water infiltration. With a sliding door, there's a huge window contour to use Velcro. Maybe you are beginning or ending your van conversion or are car camping. In any case, stay tuned. So far, I have produced more videos about van conversion, but I will insert more videos about tips, tricks, or van life and travels and trips. You are welcome to subscribe. This channel is all about tested techniques that are backed by years of experience. I have been van lifing and car camping for more than 20 years and playing in the outdoors for almost 40 years. Make my day and leave me a comment to let me know from which country you are watching this video. I just love to have the feeling of helping people of all around the world. Stay tuned my friends, more will follow, I can talk about van life forever. See ya!